join us in building a more fair and transparent future, visit ParticiaBlockchain.com today. Welcome to Decrypt, the series that decodes and demystifies everything blockchain, crypto finance, and cybersecurity. If you think blockchain technology won't impact your business, think again. Blockchain is now a major industry that has birthed several billion dollar companies and cryptocurrencies are just a tip of the iceberg. From accounting to business processes, the growing unanimity among industry executives is that blockchain will transform every significant area of work and the change is already starting. In the last six months, the world's biggest companies have invested already more than $6 billion in blockchain firms for their own business transformation. Remy Oscan, the president of the French Blockchain Federation, is going to explain to us the real deal about big business and blockchain. Welcome, Remy. Good afternoon. First of all, Remy, you wear many hats. Can you tell us a little bit more about what you're doing in the blockchain space and especially to defend the French blockchain industry? My name is Remy Osken. I'm the president of French Blockchain Federation. And I was lucky to discover what we call the most important innovation in terms of technological aspects since the creation of Gutenberg printing invention. And uh, I would like just to improve the quality of numbers and numbers of companies based in France to improve the level of blockchain knowledge and to create a sustainable blockchain economy here in France and in Europe. In the French Blockchain Federation, you've got more than 100 members, including Orange, EDF, NG, the, the French Postal Service. Can you tell us a bit more about their specific use cases? Blockchain technology now is currently using in more than 20 plus sectors in environments. Suez use blockchain technology to allow us to trace every waste for a telecom operation and infrastructure. EDF allows any companies to use a blockchain as a services solution they have developed, which allows to enter and use blockchain technology without suffering from any technical issues. Uh, blockchain technology is using by French Post now to track uh, every supply chain movement and, and information uh, they, they use to deliver a specific asset to their clients. We recently did a show about India's use of blockchain to improve government services. What can you tell us about the French government's use of blockchain and even the European Commission? We received a huge support from the French government since, since the creation of Blockchain Federation. And at the European scale, we have seen an important partnership between 27 countries in Europe, which decided to explore the use of blockchain services for public infrastructure and public services, and now is currently running and functioning. Uh, the French government has already issued few major regulations which help to use blockchain technology, specifically in finance. For investors and big businesses who are starting to invest in the blockchain space, what would be some of the challenges and threats that they need to know about? Investors need to be aware about three major concerns. The first one is regarding technical aspects. The quantum computing arrival could be a threat for the cryptography used in a blockchain system. The second aspect is regarding regulation, because as you know, regulation could improve or reduce the innovation in France and in Europe. And the third aspect is relating to geopolitical aspects. Because uh, now the major space where states are currently making a fight is for in the, in the cyberspace. On this topic, can you tell us a bit more about what China is doing? We know that 80% of Chinese people are using uh, digital payments. They introduced the digital yuan two years ago. What can you tell us about this? As we know in China, the government wants to control everything. So first, uh, they try to clean the market from privacy coins because they don't want to suffer from any competition from a company or, uh, or anyone based in China. The second steps of their strategy was to build a blockchain-based system for the digital yuan. They will oblige every company to pay in digital yuan if you want to use those specific roads. So for us, for France, for European citizens, it could be a, a major threat for our own sovereignty. Thank you so much, Remy, for decrypting the big business view of blockchain. Join us next week when we will be on site at the world's largest blockchain hub to discover what the fuss is all about. And thank you for watching Decrypt, everyone. Bye. Partizia Blockchain, infrastructure for the greater good.